walking down the road. What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee in today's test drive, 1970 C10 pickup truck. This one here's on Air Ride LS. Power steering, power brakes. Pretty sweet ride here, aftermarket set of wheels. Custom interior, two-tone paint, bed cover. It's in great shape, guys. Check out detailed pictures, financing, and shipping all at maplemotors.com. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. For now, I just need you to sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we'll look around the interior on this one. It's got some nice seats. It's very comfortable. The headliner matches the seats. They went with that ostrich interior here. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Get your switches on the dash. I've got everything leveled out to about 80 right now. And as we're riding, you know, I think 80 is going to be a pretty smooth setting. So that's where I'm going to keep it at. It does all work good. Let's go ahead and start it up. So you can hear your pump cutting on in the back. AC is already somewhat cold. No, I didn't even have it on for a second. Here it goes. But when you have the AC on, the belt squeaks. You can hear it up there. Let's see how you cut it off. Now, turn it back on. Pressure kicks on, belt squeaks. Tilt column. Upgraded gauges. These are nice looking. I wonder if these are Dakota. I'm looking for it. I don't see it saying that anywhere. But they sure look like them. Of course, we'll review that and put it in the description. Wipers. They work, they just deleted them. You see them spinning out there? They've got some little billet tops on them. Can't stand behind mileage, obviously. It's not even the original motor. Turn signals. It's not blinking on the dash here. Is it blinking on the other side? No, nope. they didn't hook them up. Oh wait, oh, check it out. Right there, that's where they're blinking now. You got little billet pieces for your AC vents. You got kicker down in the kick panels. Man, this thing's nice. Horn? I ain't even tried it myself. Let's see if it works. Oh, I would have bet that was gonna work. Okay. Let's go ahead and take off down the road and we'll see how this thing runs and drives. Pretty cool. You got a cup holder right here in the middle of the seat. That's convenient. All right, let's roll out here. Shifter's really, really tight. I mean, like, so you won't reverse, but it skips over to neutral there. There's reverse. Neutral. Drive. Okay. Good deal. Time to roll out. All of our gauges are working. We've got uh, batteries charging over here. The gas gauges are at like half a tank. Uh, the engine temperature is right at 195. Oil pressure is at 35, right there on the edge of 40. So. Also, your tack is working. And let's see about the speedo. Speedo is not coming up on the dash. As far as going straight, we're going straight as an arrow. Steering's nice and tight. Brakes. Woo! Very sensitive. They're stopping fast. hooked up motors feeling strong back into the brakes they feel good now I feel like they had a little bit of dust on suspension so far is good I think 80 is a really good spot for this fairly smooth nice and cold in this one radio is working
very easy to drive. I'm not having any issues. You gotta manually turn off your turn signals. Okay, we made it to this parking lot. And of course up next is undercarriage shots. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna do a full walk around looking for chips, scratches, any kind of dents, flaws that I can find so you know what you're getting before you get here. We do this with every car on the lot. We're not here to fix these cars. We just tell you what's wrong with them. I buy them, clean them, and sell them. All right, look below in the description. You can see what I use to make this video. I'll be back. Let's head on back to the lot. <laughs> so yes, this is Dakota Digital on the dash. You see how it just went straight into drive? It's really short there. I think that could be adjusted a hair better. It's still working the way it should. But I mean, I just pulled back one click and I was in drive. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't in second or first there. Engine temperature on this one's sitting below 190. Oil pressure's around 41, looks like, 42. Right around there.
sensitive brakes there. Yeah, one of them's locking up. I don't know which one it is. She kicks the tires over too. Let's try the brakes again. They're stopping fine now. We got one of them locking up somewhere. I'm assuming it's the back right. Let's hit them again. It's not doing it every time. It did that when we first took off too. All right, let's roll out. This thing easily kicks the tires over. We're gonna go down through Brian's. I wanna get up to speed and do that again. It's stopping decent. I assume there was just some dust on the brakes there. I'm hitting them a lot. <laughs> I mean, they're sensitive and they're stopping fast. We're going to come through Brian's and see what he's got going on. Brian's Motorsports down here, custom wheels, tires, accessories. The guy I go to to get my systems. And wheels most of the time because he's got it going on I mean that's what his son drives every day check him out Brian's Motorsports you go to brianesmotorsports.com he doesn't pay me to advertise him we're just family around here right down the road from maple motors i'm literally walking distance so if you ever come up here make your way down here go into his showroom check it out all right guys i'm pulling into the lot i appreciate you watching and i'll see you later All right, guys, it's that time. Walking around this ride, picking out chips, scratches, flaws, anything I can find. That way you know what you're getting before you get here. MapleMotors.com has detailed photos, financing, and shipping. Let's get started, man. All right. So far, I'm loving this truck. Runs and drives good. Here we go. Coming around the front end. A little scratch here. Looks like a little bend here at the bottom. Back over the grill. A little chip there. Coming down this side. Up and over the fender. Got some bubbles in the corner of the door there. Back of the cab, good shape. Step there, also in good shape. Nice and smooth. Little crack right here in the paint. Where they've integrated these tail lights that's really smooth fender looks good your rails are nice and clean back window seal is nice and clean as well dark tint 
You do got some bubbles down in here in that track. Right there as well. Door handles been replaced nice and clean. Little pinstripe running along here. There's a little spot in the paint there. Front windshield looks good. Seal looks good. Vent. The vent seal looks good. Marks there. Chrome looks nice. Nice and clean. Scuff here. Under the hood. Also right here. I'm probably laying parts down in here when they're messing with these messing with this engine here which is awesome coming down this side a little crack in the paint Spot here in the paint, Ooh, so you can see it. Crack right here. That rail looks good too. Cover on the back, pretty nice. We're getting ready to check that out. Scratch here in the back. Back window looks good. Door handle's nice and clean. Seal looks good around the vent window here. Pillar's got a few little bubbles. Scratch here. Little extra wax there left over. Front windshield's nice and clean. Coming around to the back here. They put a nice plate on the back. It does have some dings in it though. scratch here so check this out you open the top and the back by pulling this and just picking it up comes up easy it's got a wire here it's pulling on both of these latches the bed in this thing looks good got your tank here in the back gas I'm really not 100% sure why there's two but it does have two gas caps It come down even to get her shut. She shut down there. There we go. Let's go ahead and check out the interior now. Love the door panel. It looks awesome. It's got blue stitching. Billet locks, billet handle, billet door handle, billet window crank. Seal looks good. Around in your jam there. Carpet in this one. Looking awesome. Been changed out. Got a nice boot for the shifter billet knob on top. Cup holder has lights in it. A little excessive there. You may not have needed those lights. <laughs> Love the seats. Great shape. Same with the headliner. Jumping in here. Dakota Digital, it says it right there. 
I thought they were. I was just kind of looking for a uh, reference. They look just like them. Motor's nice and quiet. Beautiful under the hood here. Coming down with this hood. There's a few chips right there on the edge. And it's locked. See some lines right there in the paint. Oh, and it shut all the way, is it? Let's try it again. May need both hands. I'll have to open it back up so to open it back up which i'm not gonna be able to do with a camera in my hand there is a knob down here see that knob and it comes up through the grill and then pushes right here actually i had it earlier where i was doing it with my foot let's see if i could do it again mm-hmm I did it with my foot. A little technique there. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this down harder. Now she's sitting down lower. I thought it was up a little high. Beautiful truck. I'm enjoying the test drive so far. Be sure to check out maplemotors.com, finance and shipping detail pictures, information on there, merchandise, look below in the description as well, and hit subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. I'll keep making these videos. Again, thank you. See you later.